So hi everyone. OpenAI has just released GPT-01, which is taken as a subsidiary for GPT-5, which has outperformed GPT-40 on almost all the grounds. So in this tutorial, we would be running through a few outputs comparing GPT-40 and OpenAI O1 preview model and check out how the output differs. So if you don't know, this new model O1 has a new segment called as chain of thoughts. So basically the model is first thinking about the problem and then outputting you an output. So this won't be visible to you in the API or the chat GPT UI as mentioned by the team in the post, but that would be generated. And now we can go through the thinking process of the LLM. So let's get started. So first of all, we will be picking up a coding problem. So this is the input we are giving to both the models. Write a bash script that takes a matrix represented as a string with format and prints a transpose. Similarly, it, the same prompt goes for O1 also. Now, if you look into the output of GPT-40, it gives you a good caption and then the code. Pretty good. Now, the chain of thoughts part, as you can see here, it, is, it would be hidden for you, but in the background, it would be running. It is giving you an output, which is also looking quite similar to the one that we got from GPT-40. Now, if you look into chain of thoughts, ki how the model reached to that code, this is very, very interesting. So, I was just reading, so just see the thought process. So the input is a series of rows, each in brackets separated by commas. Overall task, constraints, it has designed. Now, constant is a part that is new. It is thinking out different constraints. What are the different approach? Implementation steps. So it is not coming to the code directly, but first of all, thinking how to do it. And here it is mentioning all the steps under potential issues. Oh my God, this is just amazing. Now it has written the first skeleton. So this is visible to you in the chain of thoughts. Now let's test this script with sample input. So in the chain of thought, it has created a script. Now it is testing it out as well and then outputting the result. Now this is the final output that we got. So eventually you just saw how detailed the approach is. So it is first of all breaking, writing in English sentences, what should I do and then coding out rather than in case of GPT-4, it is straight away giving you an output. Now let's try for a mathematical problem. So this is a quite complicated problem that I can see, which we are asking it to solve both the models, O1 and GPT-4. Now GPT-4 is giving an output like this straight away, the right steps, step two, step three, etc. Now in case of, we are hiding this uh, chain of thought section for now. Now it has started to solve this problem. We need to find all real number X factoring, determining, as you can see, it, the answer is very detailed compared to GPT-40. It is giving you the steps, but it is also giving you the prefix and the suffix that would be required, like assumptions, different points that you would require, what would be the steps. Now, if you jump onto the chain of thought section, how the model approach to this particular solution, that would be the most interest, uh, that would be the most interesting part. We are told that all integers value k satisfying one less than k, less than n. Firstly, note that ammonic polynomial is of degree 2n. So here you can see that it is now coming with all the concepts required. A lot of detailing is going on and it is thinking like a human, how we think. We are, it is spending down all the things required and then coming to a final solution. This looks very, very extensive as you can see. The output looks just amazing to me. Now let's check out for English what it outputs. The following passage is a draft of an excerpt from a contemporary book about maintaining health. So they are given some points. It's a huge prompt. In sentence two, which of the following versions of bolded text best explains the writer position? It's a long prompt that they have been asking some questions. And this is the answer, the brief answer that we have got. I'm not going to the prompt. I just want to show the capabilities and how the answering is looking like. Now it is giving an answer, a different answer. If you look into the chain of thoughts, it is evaluating all the options. As you can see, this was not happening with GPT-40. So this would be actually in the output, but it would be showed to you. That's the only case. So here is a question that we are asking around the pH value. As you can see, I have forgotten my chemistry to be honest, but I can identify some of the formulas NH4F. So now to get that pH of 0.1 M solution of NH4F, it is giving you a detailed answer. Pretty good. I would say it now coming to a final value that 5.13, the pH value. Now the answer given by GPT-4, GPT-01, 
is also on the same grounds but coming to a different answer 6.21 i'm not validating the answer to be honest but i just want to show you the process how the chain of thought process looks like and why it has improved because now it is trained in such a way that it is thinking before coming to a conclusion which was not the case in gpt 40 so here you can see that now it is considering the entire equation everything is done it is getting all the formulas required thinking about it if we have a weak salt uh, salt of weak acid and a weak base but we need to calculate the ph of a solution taking into account both so now it is considering multiple things here it is not giving a direct answer as you can see this is all the thoughts that are going in its head it has done all the computation all the calculation and then once done once verified the answer also then it is giving a final answer so i think the outputs given by o1 are just amazing given such detailing i think would be required for any logical problem and does make sense to me i think we tried for coding we checked mathematics english was good science was also well and good there are many other sections many different types of output that they have shown the chain of thoughts won't be visible to you as mentioned in the post but i think the idea that they have followed to improve the model was quite good because i myself have observed that during prompt engineering if i go for chain of thoughts i think the results improve a lot but now while training only they have incorporated that so that's the best part and this is how uh, open ai o1 model outperforms gpt40 the detailing is great and that is why i think the reasoning part has made all the difference thank you so much i hope you try out o1 model soon